hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today we are going to see how to crochet this uh, elegant stylish bean stitch hat this is a very simple and easy stitch which we're going to work over and over again and uh, i must say that this is a very quick make also the stitch itself pops up giving a very nice texture and uh, it's wonderful for cold weather Meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. I've already posted a matching bean stitch scarf tutorial in my earlier videos. I will update the link of the tutorial in the description below. Check it out if you are interested to make a matching scarf for this hat. Also, please do not forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram to get more updates. So for this project, I've taken Pound of Love yarn in color cherry, scissors, stitch marker and a 5 mm crochet hook. This is only for making our brim of the hat. So the hat that I'm making today is for an adult size. So I'm going ahead creating chain 11. This would be our row 1. And then for row 2 we are going to work one single crochet on the second chain from the hook and uh, we will work one single crochet on each chain till the end So for row 2 we are going to chain 1 turn and then we are going to work 1 single crochet on back loop of each stitch of the previous row. So we are going to only work um, 1 single crochet in the back loop of each stitch. So we are going to do till the end. And then what we are going to do is we are just going to repeat this row 2 that is chain one turn work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch so we're going to continue this row until we reach um, length of 18.5 inches for the brim which will be for the adult size so continue repeating this row to until you reach 18.5 inches
so now I have uh, repeated row 2 so my brim length is about 18.5 inches I think this will do for me what I am doing is I am holding both edges of the brim together and uh, I will uh, hold them together and I will work slip stitch on both sides by holding them together so that I'm what I'm doing here is I'm joining the two ends of the brim together so do slip stitch on each stitch till you reach the other side Now I've worked my slip stitches. I'm just taking off the yarn, to turning my work around to the right side so that my slip stitch go inside. And then we will be continuing with our hat pattern. So I'm taking 5.5 millimeter crochet hook to work my hat. So with 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, I'm working one chain. And then I will work 76 single crochet um, evenly spaced single crochet around the brim of our uh, ha hat so continue working evenly spaced single crochet 76 evenly spaced single crochet around the brim of the hat using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook So now I've completed my uh, single crochet. I will slip stitch onto our first single crochet and then we can start working row 2. For row 2, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and then work a bean stitch. So how do we do a bean stitch? Insert your loop into the hook, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through six loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through all the loops together chain one skip one stitch insert your hook pull through the loop yarn over insert your hook pull through the loop yarn over insert your hook pull through the loop six loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the loops together chain one skip one stitch insert the hook on the stitch pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop two times yarn over pull through all the six loops chain one skip one stitch repeat your bean stitch so this is what we are going to follow bean stitch chain one skip one stitch bean stitch chain one skip one stitch till the end and then we will 
do a slip stitch on top of our starting chain one to finish this round Now I am working a bean stitch on my last stitch and then I will work chain 1 and then slip stitch on top of our starting chain to finish this round. Now this is how our bean stitch looks. See you can see the stitches popping up. Now for the next row that is row 3 chain 1 turn to the other side. So first we worked in the clockwise direction. We are going to now work in the anti-clockwise direction. So chain 1 and then work 1 bean on the chain 1 space of the previous row. Chain 1 skip one stitch and then work one bean stitch on the chain one space of the previous row chain one and then work one bean stitch on the chain one space of the pre previous row so we are just going to um, alternate between clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction uh, for each row when we are working with this hat because uh, the front, uh, the right side and wrong side are the same for the stitch. So it doesn't make any difference and this is how we'll be working for the bean stitch uh, hat. So first we start with clockwise then we proceed with anti-clockwise direction. So now the row 3 we are going to work like this around and then we will uh, do a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 1. So now I have done a slip stitch on starting chain 1 uh, to finish this round. This is how our work looks so far. So it's kind of a zigzag. And then we can start proceeding with row 2. I am doing a chain 1. Turning my work to clockwise direction. And then I will do the same thing again. I will work 1 bean stitch on the chain 1 space of the previous row chain 1 and then work 1 bean stitch on the chain 1 space of the previous row chain 1 so we are going to repeat this but until row 10 but for each row we will be working clockwise and anti-clockwise direction um, and uh, we will alternate between that um, clockwise and anti-clockwise direction for each row until we reach row number 10 so continue working this pattern until we reach row 10 so then once we reach row 10 we'll start working on our decreases
we've uh, completed until our row 10 this is how our hat looks so far we have not worked any decreases yet so we will proceed working our decreases um, to finish off our hat so I'm doing my first decrease row 11 chain 1 work 1 bean stitch on the chain 1 space of the previous row chain 1 we are uh, skipping one bean altogether, working one bean stitch on the next one, next uh, chain one space of the previous row's bean stitch, and then chain one. I'm just uh, using a stitch marker to mark my starting chain one space because since we are working decreases, we might miss our stitches, and then. Uh, we are not skipping a bean, uh, working a bean stitch on the chain 1 space of the previous row. Now skipping a bean altogether, working a bean stitch on the chain 1 space of the next bean stitch and then chain 1 and work 2 beans consecutively on the next next uh, beans, chain 1, skip 1 bean stitch, work bean stitch and chain one on the previous rows chain one space of the previous rows bean stitch and then we are not skipping a bean here working one bean stitch chain one on the previous rows uh, chain one space of the bean stitch now skip one bean and then work one bean stitch chain one and then work one more bean stitch chain one this is how we are working our first decrease I'm done with my row 11 and then I will slip stitch to do our starting chain one now chain one turn to anti-clockwise direction so this is a no decrease row which means that we are going to work one bean and chain one on the chain one space of the previous rows bean for uh, we are going to work on every bean stitch Let's chain one space so no decrease round so work one bean stitch and chain one on the chain one space of the previous rows bean so we are not skipping any stitches here in this row So for row 13 we do a chain 1, turn our work to clockwise direction and then we work uh, the same way we worked row number 11 which means we will be work skipping st stitches. Um, I have worked one bean chain 1 on the previous rows chain 1 space um, and now I skipped a bean altogether and work um, bean stitch chain 1 on the previous rows chain 1 space uh, beans chain 1 space and then I am not skipping the next one uh, will work one bean stitch chain 1 on the next chain 1 space and then chain 1 skip one bean stitch work one bean stitch chain 1 on the next stitch work one bean stitch chain one on the next chain one space so we work two bean stitch chain one and then skip one stitch work two bean stitch chain one around and then do a slip stitch on top of our starting chain one so now we are going to finish this round I'm gonna join to the starting chain now we can start with row 14 for row 14 chain 1 turn to anti-clockwise direction this is a no decrease round which means we will be working one bean and chain 1 on each chain 1 space of the previous row so no decrease round we are not skipping any stitches here we are going to work the same way we worked row 12 
so continue working like this around and then do a slip stitch on top of our starting chain one space So this is how our work looks so far then just I'm going to do a slip stitch on top of our starting chain one we can continue with row 15 for row 15 we am doing a chain one turn to clockwise direction and then this is also a no decrease round which means we are not skipping any stitches here we are working one bean stitch and chain one on each chain one space of the previous row so continue working like this around and then do a slip stitch on top of our starting chain one to finish off this round So row 16 we work chain 1 turn to anti-clockwise direction so he, this is a decrease round which means we are going to sk skip stitches we work one bean chain 1 on our starting chain 1 space and then skip one bean then work one bean and chain 1 on the next chain 1 space bean stitch chain 1 and then work uh, bean stitch chain one and then next chain one space so two consecutive bean stitches chain one space and then skip one stitch and then two consecutive bean stitches chain one skip stitch so continue working like this and then join um, with the starting chain one using a slip stitch again row 17 chain 1 turn to clockwise direction no decrease round which means we will be working one bean stitch chain 1 on our each chain 1 space of the previous row and then slip stitch on top of our starting chain 1 to finish off this round So row 18 chain 1 turn to anti-clockwise direction a decrease round which means we will be working one bean chain 1 skip one bean stitch chain space and then work two consecutive uh, bean stitches and chain 1 in the next two chain 1 spaces skip one stitch and work like how we have done before the same way and then slip stitch on to our starting chain one to finish off this round so row 19 would be uh, half double crochet two together 
into consecutive stitches around and uh, you can fasten off you can do a slip stitch on top of our starting half double half double crochet two together and um, fasten off and you may sew uh, the open edges if you have any using a tapestry needle and uh, secure your yarn and, and uh, we'll be done with our hat I'm doing a slip stitch and just leave a long tail for sewing a pom pom so this is how my hat looks and uh, I'll be making a pom pom by um, hand I don't use any tools for making pom pom I just made this using my hands I just fold my fingers roll off the yarn and then uh, tie in the center and then uh, We'll uh, just uh, cut off the yarn to make this pom pom. I will update how you can make a pom pom using uh, just your fingers. Um, I've already done a video for that. I will update the video tutorial in the description box. You can check and uh, see how you can make this pom pom. And I've sewed this pom pom to my hat, and my hat is done. I hope you enjoyed making this wonderful textured hat with me. Please try this at home and let me know your comments. Please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.